we will place a small portion of the sample into a filter paper. I will add a drop of benzidine solution and a drop of 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. It turns out to be an intense blue color which means that this sample is a positive blood. I will place a small portion of the sample into a filter paper. I will add a drop of phenolphthalein solution and a drop of 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. It turns out to be a rose color or deep pink, which means that this sample is a positive blood. We will now do the microscopic test for blood to know if it's from mammalian, avian, bison, or reptilian blood. We will take two small portions of dried blood and we will place each fragment as separated a drop of 0.9% salt solution. We will cover it to prevent evaporation and we will wait for it 1 to 2 hours. The result has a large oval and nucleated, which means it came from weather from the birds, fish, and reptile red blood cells. So after we determine that this sample is a blood, we will now do the precipitate test to test whether this blood is from human or from an animal. We need a small amount of blood for testing because this test is very sensitive and can automatically give a result. We also need a precipitin or human antiserum. And if the stain is in cloth, we will cut a small portion of it and we will place it in a test tube. And then, we will add extract of human anti-serum. And we will stand it overnight. But if the sample is a liquid blood and not on cloth, we will put a drop of blood in the test tube. And a drop of human anti-serum. And after 1 to 2 minutes, it develops a white cloudy line at a contact point of the fluid which means it is positive from human blood and not from the animal. So once we know that this blood is from human, we will now identify which blood group does it belong. We will put a blood on A, B, and RH. And we will put anti-serum A on A, anti-serum B on B, and anti-serum D on RH. A, B, and RH has a result of clumping, which means the blood is an AB positive.